Here we have a 70 plate Mercedes Benz CLA 180 AMG line at Premium Plus. Now, this vehicle comes with the 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all of which are in excellent condition and unmarked. We do also have the polar white exterior paintwork, we have the LED headlights, Panamerica front grille with the black Mercedes badge in the centre, and there's a look at that front end. Coming around to the passenger side then, you'll find the second alloy wheel, again in excellent condition just down here. We do also have the colour coded door handles and door mirrors, we have the black trim around the windows, with the privacy glass for the rear passengers. Up top you find the panoramic glass sunroof, it's currently open, you can also get put onto a tilt. We also have the gloss black rear spoiler, just here on the boot. You'll also find the front and rear parking sensors, with a reversing camera. We have the quad tip exhaust with the rear diffuser, and there's a look at the rear. If we take a look inside the boot then, just open it up like so, you can see we have a decent amount of space, it does go quite far back inside of there. We also have a handle here on the right hand side so we can pull it back down. Coming back round to the driver's side, you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Then if we just take a look at another alloy wheel, you can see it again unmarked. And heading on into the interior, you'll find the full leather interior. You've got the two-tone of the black and the red. Foldable armrests in the centre and the fixed ISO points as well back here. We also have the vents in the centre for the rear passengers. Electric windows on the doors with the brushed metal door handles. Taking a look at the front, we have the same half leather, in uh, full leather interior, sorry. With the two-tone of the black and red. Let's look at the roof from the inside. Both these front seats are heated and also electrically adjustable with the memory functions. We then have the electric power forward and mirrors, electric windows with child lock for the rear. We have the automatic lights down here with the electric handbrake, a flat bottomed multifunctional steering wheel. If we just take a seat inside, then you'll find the digital dashboard in front of us with a nice little animation as we get in. Put a foot on the brake, press the start button, then the vehicle will start up for us. Let's we'll turn the volume down. We then have the paddle shifters either side of the steering wheel, cruise control and speedometer here on the right. And we are free from any warning lights on the digital dashboard. We also have the main screen here in the centre. Now for this screen or any lights are flickering, it's just the camera. They're not flickering in real life, it's nothing to worry about. So we do have the sat nav, but we also have the other shortcut buttons down here. Click onto the radio, you find the radio stations, media options, Bluetooth phone connectivity for making phone calls. Then onto the main menu. We can scroll through the other features, go over to comfort, you find the seat kinetics, we also have the ambient lighting, many colours which you can go through on here, it's inside of the vents, and also runs across here and across the doors, looks really nice especially at night time. Back onto the main menu, if we scroll through even further features you find the apps, where you'll find the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Moving further down, again we've got the vents with the ambient lighting inside, we have the draw zone climb control with the ice cold air conditioning. We also have the gloss black trim here in the centre, the touch pad for the screen. Inside of here, you'll find that we have the cup holders, wireless phone charging, 12 volt connectivity, and also a Type C USB port. Now we also have the drive mode buttons just here, so if you click onto here, you find Eco, Comfort, Sport, and also Individual. Let's leave it in Comfort. Put the car into reverse, you find the reversing camera with the parking sensors on the right hand side. We also have the wide angle and the parking assist. Put it back into your park and then finally moving back down here in the centre we have the armrest you can open that up for extra storage but that's all i'm showing you guys today if you'd like to find out more please check out the website this vehicle comes with a fresh service fresh mot and free nationwide next day delivery thank you for watching video test drive of this mercedes-benz cla 180 amg line premium plus now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle that drives as you expect it to. As you can see, I'm going to fire the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line, not being enough to the left or to the right hand side, just staying straight on the road. Now we do have the multifunctional steering wheel, which has the paddle shifters either side. So if you want to stick the car into manual mode, you simply tap on the paddles and it will change gear. We have the volume buttons here on the left hand side, speedometer and the cruise control on the right. Digital dashboard in front of us, which can show it different features and different displays that you would have seen in the photos and walk around video. If you do listen carefully throughout the video test drive you'll also notice we'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. 
we also have the full leather seats in this vehicle, really comfortable, P0213. We've got 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Both front seats are also heated, which is perfect for them cold winter mornings. Now we also have many more features on the interior of this vehicle, like the panoramic glass sunroof, ambient lighting, also the main screen here in the centre, which is currently shown the sat nav, but again also has many more features you would have seen on the photos. Now we are about to take a right hand turn onto the industrial park, so if we put our right indicator on, we'll start to slow it down, and then we'll wait for this car to go past before making the right hand turn onto the industrial park. So taking the right hand turn now onto the industrial park, and then I will perform an emergency stop in three, two, and one, and onto the brakes. Put the car into reverse, we've got the reversing camera up here on the screen. Put it back into a drive now with no issues whatsoever. And if this video hasn't answered all your questions, then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions, along with running for some inquiries of you. That's all for me today though. Cheers.